It is no secret that I personally love the 303 British cartridge. The 303 British is a classic cartridge that has probably taken down more game than any other calibre within Commonwealth countries. And every time I shoot a rifle chambered with the 303 British, I wonder where it came from. So I decided to find out the simplified history of the 303 British cartridge. The 303 British has an interesting history. The 303 British is a rimmed cartridge. A rimmed cartridge has a rim that sticks out at the bottom of the cartridge. The rim is used to hold the cartridge in the chamber of the rifle. The 303 British was adopted by Great Britain and other Commonwealth countries in December 1888 for the new Lee Metford rifle. The Lee Metford rifle replaced the aging single shot breech loading rifle, the Matini Henry. At first, the 303 British Mark I and Mark II bullets had a round nose bullet with a full metal jacket. Full metal copper jacket. However, the Mark II bullet did not live up to expectations in combat and the Mark III bullet was born. But the Mark III bullet was swiftly taken out of production due to manufacturing issues and was replaced by the Mark IV. The Mark IV was a hollow point bullet. A hollow point expands like a mushroom when it comes into contact with a soft fleshy target and causes significant wounds. The hollow point was more stable and accurate than the standard round nose bullet because a proportion of the weight of the bullet was now shifted to the rear of the bullet. However, the Mark IV was not without its own problems. On occasion, the Mark IV's copper jacket would shed from the bullet when fired and this caused an obstruction within the barrel. This was dangerous because when another round is fired in the same barrel there is a major risk of the barrel being over pressured and blowing up causing injury or death to the shooter. So in October 1899 the new and improved version of the Mark IV, the Mark V bullet, started production. But there was a slight issue. This issue was the August 1899 Hague Convention. The August 1899 Hague Convention deemed that expanding bullets used in warfare was inhumane, so all 45 million Mark V bullets that were produced had to be used for target practice instead of in conflict due to the new rules of war. Then in 1904 the Mark VI round was produced, however it did not live up to expectations. The bullet was designed to have a thinner copper jacket to improve expansion upon hitting its target. However, this idea proved to not work as in intended. Not long after the Mark VI bullet was released, the number one Mark III SMLE Lee Enfield rifle was released on January 26, 1907. The SMLE was a rugged and reliable rifle that held 10 rounds of 303 British ammunition in its magazine. The rifle also served during World War I and World War II with Commonwealth forces. The EC Mali still sees a limited use in some countries, such as with the Indian police. In 1910, the Mark VII was released. The Mark VII had spent the longest in circulation and there is a vast amount of surplus 303 Mark VII ammunition available for purchase. The Mark VII had a more modern design compared to previous 303 bullets at the time. The Mark VII bullet was pointed compared to the previous 303 bullets which were round. The first third of the bullet was made of alloy or other lightweight composites and this made the bullet tail heavy. When the Mark VII bullet hit its intended target the bullet would slightly change direction and cause the bullet to deform. This would cause a significant wound cavity and because the bullet had a copper jacket that covered the whole bullet the bullet did not break any of the rules created by the Hague Convention and was able to be used in warfare. These are the main types of 303 British bullets that were manufactured for military use. However, there are many more versions that were created and there are an abundance of hunting bullets of the 303 out there from soft points and hollow points. 
303 British has an interesting history and in this video I only glanced over some of the facts of the 303 British cartridge. I highly recommend that you look into the history of the 303 British. Thank you all for watching, please give this video a like and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.